Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in on this crisp Colorado morning. It's a little chilly out here. We got a little snow. Um, but today what we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about a trailer. It's kind of a newer model that Cimarron's come out with. Now the concept of the trailer isn't anything new. Um, but what Cimarron's done is they've gone in and, and been able to do a more finished kind of front dressing room for you. So again, that's not a completely new concept, um, but it's a package that they went ahead and put together called a comfort package. Now in this trailer that we're gonna walk through today, it's on a stock combo. But if you want to do this package on a two horse, a three horse, a four horse, a five horse, etc you want a larger stock combo, you want a different tack setup, we'll kind of go into those type of items as we walk through this trailer. But with that being said, this is something that Cimarron can do in-house. Uh, it takes about the normal amount of time to build a trailer to where if you have to ship this trailer to a living quarters conversion company, it's gonna take a lot longer process from start to finish to get you your, your finished trailer. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk through this. Again, it's, it's Cimarron's Comfort Package. This is a 24-foot stock combo. And again, we'll kind of go through some different tack setups that we can do on this. Um, by no means is this the, the one and only option you have for this front dressing room or this Comfort Package that Cimarron's done. Um, so again, we can go in there, we can flip the doors to the other side of the trailer we can lay it out differently but it's just a cool package uh, for those of you that maybe just need to spend a, a night or two in this trailer you know you're not needing a big full living quarters again it's it's well equipped and it can get you by on some of those kind of shorter trips so we'll just kind of start over here this is a seven foot short wall and we're gonna have a four foot offset so the long wall on this trailer is gonna be 11 feet um, but over here on the short wall, it's going to be seven. We put a fold up step there so it's nice and easy for you to get into this front area. But as you can see, we went in and completely lined and insulated the walls. We finished it off with the, uh, the carpet on the wall, that marine grade carpet. We put you a place to sleep. a boot box for some storage but you can also hop into the the neck on this trailer we put some windows in here for ventilation you get a cross breeze up in the neck but then also above this sofa you've got your emergency exit so that window will remove and if you need to get out of this trailer uh, without going out the door. But again, the concept on this is, is it's completely finished off for you. So you have the line and insulate package, like I mentioned on the side walls. You have the standard insulated roof that comes on every single Cimarron, so we don't have to do anything there. And then up top here, we went ahead and put a air conditioner for you. And it also has a heat strip. So if you are getting into these cooler mornings like this, uh, we did put power to this so you could do a plug-in furnace, uh, you know, some type of a heater to create some, some heat in here. And with that heat strip on there, you can actually, as the heat rises from that heater, it'll get up and you can kind of circulate it up into the neck of this trailer and just kind of throughout. Now, this isn't a, a big uh, area by any means, but, you know, a small little heater with that heat strip will, will take that chill off and make it nice and comfortable. Like I mentioned, so you'll be able to throw a mattress up in the nose, a bedroll, sleeping bags, anything like that, and then you have the couch. Well, this is the same style of couch that we put in a lot of the living quarters, the jackknife style. So that folds down into a secondary bed for you. It's got a place for you to sit down, you know, get out of the elements on, on mornings like this. And I'll show you when we get to the outside, but we've got some storage underneath that couch as well and then we kind of went through and you know we just wanted to give you some hooks you know maybe somewhere to hang some items when you come in we put two nice deep shelves in here in this corner 
And the other thing we did, I mentioned we put power to this, but you know, we've got outlets throughout this, this front area. That one there, our thought was, is if, if you wanted to have that smaller heater or a small refrigerator, a dorm fridge, something like that, you can plug it in. It's kind of out of the way for you. Um, but what we did was we put a 30 amp breaker package on here to run that air conditioner. But then also we put a converter so you can go from 110 to 12 volt. Um, so we can charge up your batteries that are that's on this trailer here. Uh, we've got you some additional plugs up in the neck there so you can plug in like a cell phone or anything like that. Um, so just a very simple package, but yet, you know, I mean, it, it's very well equipped. It's kind of a blank canvas. If you want to kind of go in and, and add some stuff later on, you can do that. And like I said, there's this isn't the only package you can get. We can manipulate this all you want. If you want this as an eight foot short wall, a six foot short wall, you know, we can do that. We can flip the door to the other side. We can add, um, you know, a different style boot box to it a little bit deeper. We can add more hooks, clothes rods, anything like that. So again, you can completely customize this. Out here, we just opted to put, you know, another set of plugs for you because, you know, maybe you take a little portable, you know, electric grill or something like that, or, you know, you can, you can plug in a nice little portable generator. Um, you know, our parts department sells a, a portable Onan that they've come out with a remote start, and you can have enough power to run the air conditioner and everything you else, you know, everything else you need in this trailer right here. Um, and that generator will run about 15 hours at a 50% load. So you can get a lot of time out of that, that uh, 3.4 gallon uh, fuel capacity on that Onan generator that our parts department sells. So again, that can be completely customizable, but a nice little package for you. And then as we get into this trailer here, again, we opted for a stock combo. And the reason why is we feel like this is such a good package from the standpoint of, you know, the stock combos can be so versatile. You can haul your horses, you can haul your livestock, you can haul toys as well. So as we get into the fall months here, you know, a lot of people are going up uh, camping and hunting. You know, this is a great thing for if you're taking horses up or you're taking a four-wheeler or a side-by-side, -side, something along those lines, going up to hunting camp, this is a great place to stay for you. And again, it's not a massive trailer. We're only talking 24 foot on the floor. So you can get in and out of a lot of places with this, with this trailer here. As we work our way into the, the, the stock part of this trailer, we put an escape door on there for you. The other thing I want to show you is, so this trailer has the two air gaps, but you'll notice this notch right here in both air gaps, and then you'll notice it on the escape door, the rear doors, but that's if you opt to uh, go ahead and put plexiglass in there, your track's already there for you. So you just go get it measured, we can add it here, you can find a plastic place, they can measure it, cut it. Um, four foot sections are very manageable, over that they get a little bit more difficult. Um, but that way, if you want to seal this trailer off, Cimarron's already taken that step for you, and that track is already there. We've got some exterior tie rings on this trailer on both sides. As we get to the back here, we've got your, your swing gate with a nice heavy-duty cam, and then also a slider in there as well. So as we get into the stall area here, again, this is great for, like I mentioned, horses, livestock, and any of your toys that you want to haul. And what we did is, because this front partition wall is on a slant, we matched it with the center cut gate as well. So it matches as, as far as the slant goes. And this is a, a six foot front stall area here on a slant. So most of our slant load horse trailers are 39 inches, so 6'6", six, six. but we went, went ahead and did a, a six foot on this front section here with that center cut gate to match. We put a rubber kick mat on this tail side for you. 
and I'll show you on this center cut gate how easy it is. It's just a, a slam latch on this paddle. This is UHM. That is a heavy duty plastic right there. We don't have that metal to metal contact on that paddle itself. But then this is a cast aluminum piece that goes around it. So it's nice and heavy duty, but you'll notice nothing protrudes out. Everything's nice and flush to the wall. Everything has a radius in these Cimarron's. If you look at their, their gates, their center dividers, um, you know, their posts, everything has a radius. So no sharp edges, no 90 degree angles that can cut an animal, um, you know, in transit. We went ahead and put a tie rail in between those two air gaps for you. I love that tie rail because now if I go ahead and I put that plexiglass in here and seal this off, I can't tie to these posts. So that tie rail that goes the entire length, you can tie animals anywhere you want. Um, and then again, if it's sealed off with the plexiglass, you don't have to worry about going around the post and you got somewhere to tie. The other thing Cimarron did is they put this nice pin right here for that center gate. All you have to do is just swing it over and latch it and that's where it's gonna stay. If you've watched our videos, um, you know, we say it time and time again, if you start from the floor on a Cimarron and you go to the roof, you know, we feel like this is the best built all aluminum trailer out there in the market. And if you look at the specs on a Cimarron com compared to everyone else out there, we will work our way to the top. Uh, you're standing in the industry's best floor. This is a 12 inch deck with four inch centers. Uh, and it, it's an extruded piece of aluminum that is double tongue and groove, locks together. They actually build this trailer upside down. Um, they solid weld down, they do four welds across on each one of those 12 inch decks, and then they flip it over. Uh, that's how they build it. So you're starting off with, a, with the best floor on the market. As you go up, you have these center posts that are more of a square compared to a rectangle, a C channel, or hat channel. This is the same amount of aluminum in this upright post as you'll notice on these roof bows. Now these roof bows are what a lot of the competition uses for their side post. And because this is more of a square compared to that rectangle, if you take a 20 foot stick of this, it'll wobble like a noodle all the way down. If you take a 20 foot stick of this and do the same motion, it's like a pencil. It's one solid motion. So again, floor, the side post, I mentioned the insulated roof that's standard on all of them. One, it keeps your stall area cooler in here during the really hot summer months, but also it'll take substantial hail. I can walk on these roofs, I won't dent them. Um, so if we go from, again, floor on these trailers up to the roof, again, we feel like they're the best built trailers out there. And again, we'll beat a lot of specs that everybody else has out there. You'll notice a lot of LED lights. Everything's LED on this trailer. Um, we've got load lights. We've got uh, lights on each side of the trailer. We've got nice OptiBright lights on the inside of this stall area here. So again, if you're doing stuff in the dark, you got plenty of light coverage on this trailer. Everything's individually switched back here. So our stalls, our rear load light, each side load light, everything's off on its own switch. So you can, you don't have to turn everything on at once if you don't want to. Now as we work our way over here to the passenger side, I'd like to stop and look. These are two 7,000 pound rubber torsion Dexter axles. There's a couple things that Cimarron does that I'm a big, big fan of. One is this is a bolt on fender. So if for some reason you tear up this fender, you know, you don't have the added uh, labor cost on repair by cutting this off, it was welded. I mean, it's very simple, cut the silicone, unbolt it, off it comes, bolt the new one on silicone, reattach your lights and you're good to go. So from a cost standpoint, this will save you a lot of money down the road if you do have to replace it. And then as we get to the wheels and tires, the vendor that Cimarron uses for those is a company called Lionshead. And they offer a one year 
no questions asked warranty on their tires. If you have a blowout, if you catch a nail, if you catch some road debris and a tear up a tire and it cannot be patched, um, you take some pictures of the codes on these, on these tires, you send it into them and they'll send you a new tire. They're nitrogen filled as well. So we don't have the PSI levels fluctuating drastically uh, in these cooler nights, warmer days as you're traveling. I mean, just the other day we were well over 90 and we immediately dropped to a high in the 30s yesterday. So major, major temperature differences here in Colorado. We went ahead and upgraded on this, on this trailer to G-rated 14 plies. We just wanted a little bit heavier duty tire for you rather than a, a tin ply that would be standard on this. So you have really good rubber underneath this trailer to begin with, which we're a big fan of. As we work forward to the tack room on this trailer, like I mentioned earlier in the video, there's multiple tack setups we can do on these. Uh, if you're doing a more traditional slant load horse trailer, we can do a, a folding rear tack for you, a solid tack. We can do a full width mid tack on this trailer. But on this one here, we opted for the closet tack. So when we were up in the comfort package of this, where the couch was and where the shelves were, you kind of noticed uh, an L-shaped wall. Well, that was, this is the back side of that wall right here. So we're not adding a, a ton of link to this trailer, but just a very, very nice, completely sealed off tack room. Again, you're not smelling anything in that, in that front comfort package area there and we feel like we equipped this really really well for you four tier saddle rack those are adjustable we carpeted everything we put you a 25 gallon corner water tank it's on a stand as well good amount of hooks you've got a roof vent that way, you know, there's not a window on this door, so if you want to air it out a little bit, you can just manipulate it with that uh, two-way roof in up there. And then on the door, we put some a four-tier blanket pole rack. It is on a gas shock, so it swings. And then we put a brush tray here for you. The other thing is we put another one of those fold-up steps right here. So again, is your taking saddles in and out of this trailer it's really nice to be able to step right there rather than you trying to throw them up or trying to step in there you know this isn't a a really deep tack room by any means so it gives you just a little bit more room and a little bit more ease getting saddles in and out of this trailer the other thing when i was in the stall area and we were kind of talking about how these are equipped the other thing is the the door framing that cimarron does on all their tack doors, um, that little door right there, if you have mangers, if you have drop windows, the, the comfort package door, but there's massive framing behind this door. I mean, you get a hold of it, it's heavy. You feel the weight of it, but it's not a very lightweight prefab door. Um, these are things that we're gonna open every time we use this trailer. So they're gonna take some wear and tear. So we need them to be heavy duty to hold up over time. And that's what Cimarron's done is they've taken these steps to really make these trailers. If you take care of them, they're gonna last a long time. When we were looking at the sofa in that comfort package, I mentioned that there was some storage on the outside. So we sealed that off. We put you a little door out here. And again, that goes that full length of that couch. So this is just a great place for little items, um, whether it was that the 30 amp cord for this trailer, if you, like I mentioned, that little electric grill if you wanted to carry, um, just little items um, as you're traveling, again, maybe going up hunting, going up camping, uh, going to some different events, things like that. That's just a really nice little area that you can store some things. It's sealed off, it's deep, it's long, and you can lock it up. So, like I mentioned, this is a 24-foot Cimarron comfort package. It is a 2020. For reference for you guys, the stock number is 5N191346. So if you're interested in this trailer, you can give us a call on that. Just let us know what stock number you're looking at. 
But if you're interested in, in uh, ordering something with a little bit different setup, it's a very simple process. It's just like us walking through, doing a normal trailer for you. Um, we can look at a lot of different scenarios, whether it's a, a traditional slant load, another one of these stock combos, a different tack setup, longer, shorter, we can do it all. So you're not just set with this package right here. So give us a call. Our uh, number is 303-684-3400. Again, my name is CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Give us a call. Our sales team can help you out. Stay warm and have a good day.